Francesca or Francisca Kojo, Facebook VIP member, how long does it take USCIS to adjust status from an unmarried daughter of a U.S. citizen to a married daughter of a citizen? Adjust status? Uh, yes, adjust I don't know status. If you, I, I don't know how you would, you mean, a married daughter is going to take 10, 15 years to get a green card, unmarried about seven. I'm not sure about adjustment of status. So I think she's asking if she gets married, how much longer she has to wait. Which will be yeah, how long does years. it take USCIS to adjust status from an unmarried daughter? You're not to adjusting unmarried. status. You're just changing your category from F1 to F3. You just write a letter and boom, it's done. Azanik Pretty on Facebook. My friend overstayed her visa due to medical issues and being hospitalized for quite some time. Would any problem present itself if she returned home but wanted to go to Canada? No. Daryl Winnabaugh on YouTube. My wife just applied for a citizenship and in the marriage section, my current uh status is pending cos to student almost nine months pending now will this have any impact on my application of yes how it won't andre thomas on youtube if i came to the u.s on a work visa then 90 days before i registered to sit the ncl ex nclex nclex uh, exam for nursing. nursing yeah and submit my alien uh, registration number to the New York State Board. Then later an employer fi uh, filed an I-140. Would I be denied for misrepresentation? The, rep uh, the reason for my question regards misrepresentation when I entered the country, I wasn't eligible for the NCLEX exam, but now I'm As long as, long as the I-140 was filed more than 90 days after your entry, you're fine. Okay, Jody Ann on YouTube. I received my work permit and did the biometric for VAWA, but I've only done a medical for a previously denied case in 2019. Should there be another medical done for my upcoming green card interview? Yes. The al Alias Boy on YouTube. I had an abusive ex-husband. Now I'm with someone else and we have a son. Does this qualify me for VAWA? If you had an abusive ex-husband and it's within two years of... A divorce you can file a vowel case for sure deshaun youtube on uh or deshaun on youtube my priority date is 2008 my uh, november 30th the problem is we are dq jan 20 or uh, january 5th 2021 but my daughter will age out will she get to be covered under the age out act i would need to know a lot more information to determine whether it's child status protection act Gadiri on YouTube, if someone loses his student status because of health issues and applies for asylum and it's taken too long, how can he get back to school? Because he's applying for asylum? Um, yeah, so he lost his student status and well, you uh, can, because you, of if, health. As, if you were on a student status and then applied for asylum and there was never a time period that you were not, you can uh, change your status back to a student and, and then withdraw your asylum case if you want. Shamim Ahmed on YouTube, which year and month of U visa uh, filers are now getting BFD notifications so that they can get an EAD? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Hamid Raji. But, but, but what they're asking is wh how people on U visas have get bona fide determinations to get a work permit. But there's so many backed up. I, I, don't mm. have the, I, I haven't seen the statistic on that yet. Okay. Uh, Ahmed. Uh, Hamad Raji on YouTube. What's happening about the TPS and removal proceedings the government is planning to do by creating priority and non-priority cases? Anybody uh, who is does not have a criminal record is going to end up getting their cases prosecutorial getting uh, prosecutorial discretion. Frida Conadu on YouTube. I've been out of the U.S. for a very long time, but I have a social security number. Can I use my social security number as proof at the U.S. Embassy to get a visa? No, because your social security number is going to indicate that you want to come work. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good idea. Right. Deborah Gibson on YouTube. VAWA I-360 approved. Advanced parole given February 2020. How long is the VAWA green card? Can I travel on advanced parole and return without a problem? And how long can I stay out of the USA? On advanced parole, my opinion is don't stay out for more than, you know, four to six weeks. Uh, it should be about nine months from the time you get your VAWA approved to the time you get your green card. Sharon Thomas on Facebook. If someone has a petition for their married daughter, can the parent file for disability if they're unable to work? Absolutely. Okay. Will it affect their case? Well, you get a second affidavit of support from someone else. Okay. Tia on YouTube. NVC said my interview will be scheduled soon. My I-601A is not approved. My derivative turns 19 and is out of status. What to do? 
hopefully hopefully you'll get your 601a approved before your child's 21 but if your child doesn't have his or her own i601a they don't piggyback on yours every person over 18 needs their own provisional waiver to go home and come back so i didn't hear that your child has a provisional waiver filed God's grace on YouTube. I'm an F1 student who just graduated with my bachelor's in business management. How long do I have in the U.S. We answered, after? Yeah, we answered that one. Okay. Yeah. Uche on Facebook. I filed a VAWA application with I-131 and 765. I only received the approval document I I-131 since January 2021. Till now, I have not received anything concerning I-765, not even the receipt of application. I wrote so many letters, but no response. Sounds like you never filed an I-765. Ooh. You don't have a receipt? You have no proof that it was filed? File a new one. Juan Gonzalez on YouTube. I used to be a resident many years ago through marriage, divorced before removing conditions and returned to my home country. I gave up my green card and came back with a B1, B2 visa. Any options to reopen? It's been a long time. No, you have to figure out your own way to get a green card now. Elaine Bach on uh, Facebook. My daughter's grandmother adopted her to take to the U.S. when she was 14 years old, but she never got to the U.S. through the adoption. I got a visa for her before the adoption came through. Now she can't file for me because I signed the adoption paper. What can I do? You have to figure out another way to get a green card. Once, you, once your daughter is adopted by somebody else, that breaks the bond, legal bond between you and the daughter. Wow. Uh, Omugabi Nsamba on Facebook. What does it mean when a pending decision for I-589 online case status check changes to I-765 fees waived? Does it mean the case is approved? No, it means that they waived the application for your work permit. Chapdim on YouTube. How long? Uh, how much is the filing fees for I-130 from start to finish, including consular process, 14-year-old son overseas? Five hundred thirty-five dollars for the um, uh, I one thirty visa petition, and then you have fees at the National Visa Center that are four hundred something dollars. Brian Abdul on Facebook: The parents sponsored an un, uh, adult unmarried child. The case is at NVC. The priority date is twenty eighteen. How long for a green card interview at the embassy, which is in Trinidad and Tobago? Adult unmarried child. The parents sponsored an adult unmarried child. 2018 your priority date is 2018 another three four years boss lady mar e banks on facebook if i apply for asylum got my work permit and social security but don't get uh or didn't get a an interview as yet can i use the social in another state yes alex schwartz on youtube i have my green card 2018 through job i have a 10-year green card November 8, 2018, when can I go and apply for my citizenship? 90 days before the five-year anniversary of you obtaining your green card. And last one, Mary Winona on YouTube. Uh, my children are over 21 and filed for them in 2012. Uh, up to date, nothing has happened. They finalized documents in 2019, but till now they have not been interviewed. What's happening? They still are, they're still a wait on the waiting list. That's what's happening. Mm. They haven't reached your priority date yet. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.